So you're wondering, is it possible to get worms in your eye? I'm going to tell you, stick around. I'm Joel Hayden. I'm an optometrist and nutritionist, and we talk about all things eye care, eye nutrition, nutrition, and ways in which we can live longer and better. And if that interests you, consider subscribing, hit that like button. Let's get at it. Is it possible to get worms in the eye? Yeah, yeah. Fortunately, I've never seen it, but it is definitely possible. We're going to go over the top three ways in which you can get them. So we're talking about something called loasis, L-O-I-A-S-I-S, -I -I which is a parasitic worm infection. In 2015, Mental Floss had an article about how people are infecting themselves with worms as a medical treatment. Certain people think that we live in a little bit too sterile of an environment. Many of them have autoimmune issues and they're not getting good results with normal treatment, normal medical treatment. So they go to third world countries and they sit in cesspools of worm infected feces, I kid you not, get infected to let the worms infect them and then teach their body to fight them off. I don't think this is a good idea. But to those people, I hope you watch this to see what you may be in for once you get infected by these worms. Most of them are a species of tapeworm. Okay, so on to the fun. The first way in which I have ever seen a worm infect an eye is in the retina. Here's a picture. Pretty gross. Sometimes you won't see the worm in the retina. You will only see where it has been because you can see the tracks through the retina. Pretty gross, pretty scary. I guess you could probably laser the worm if it was there, but for most people, I don't think that they've been seen with the worm right there in the retina. Okay, what do you think that person said when they got home from their eye doctor's appointment after having found that in their retina? I got worms. All right, on to number two. This was a story about a, a girl who lives in the Northwest of the United States. She um, was on a cattle ranch. She went to Alaska, was fishing, and her eye was really irritated, went to the doctor. But what happened was, um, I guess it's very common on the cattle ranch that cows get infected with worms transmitted by flies. So apparently she got a fly either in her eye or on her eyelid. Somehow the larvae of the worm got into her lid and this is the quick little video I'm going to show you. Living in a nightmare. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, Beckley had a type of eye worm called Thalasia gullosa. It's seen in cattle in the U.S. and spread by flies. And until now, it has never been seen in a human eye. So what do you think that girl said to her parents when she got home from that fishing trip from Alaska? I got worms. <laughs> Gross. So, on to number three, the third way in which I've seen that you can get worms in your eye. So this is a gentleman who was living in India. His eye was really irritated. He went to the eye doctor and the eye doctor looked and went, wow. So, this gentleman had, visually you can see it right here, he had, um, a worm in between his conjunctiva and his sclera, which fortunately for him, he's not gonna lose any vision. It's probably a good place to have one, if there's a good place to have one, but it had to be removed. Here's a little bit of the video of the doctor removing the, the worm out of his eye. Yikes! Woo. If that doesn't give you the heebie-jeebies, I don't know what will. And of course, what do you think the man said to his family when he got home from the eye doctor in India? I got worms. I got worms. All right. I don't even want to ask if you thought that was informative. Um, it was just totally gross. Every once in a while, we're going to throw another one of these out there. Hope you enjoyed it. What? In the meantime,
take care.